Tesla's We Robot event happened, and man, oh man, it was nothing like I expected and surprised and shocked me actually in ways that I totally didn't expect. So the thing that has really stuck with me after watching this event is seeing these humanoid robots interact with real people at a real event with thousands of people around that it can adapt to people's movements and interactions with it in real time the same speed that a human would it seems to have a, an understanding that is is nutty to me look at this the guy walks up and and it starts playing rochambeau <laughs> this is like oh i lost it's handing out drinks and gift bags at one point this guy there's this crowd of people around this optimist bot and this guy over on the left walks up it does this like stupid little heart thing and the optimist like handler whispers over to optimist something and then optimist kind of looks over at the guy and does this big heart movement in real time i think what's so staggering to me is even watching this video last night when you would look at the movements sort especially its there, head and the way it would look at things the way it turn its head i would have to look at joints like this to sort of bring consciousness to me that like hey this is just a robot this isn't a real person in a suit and then instantly my brain would go back to like no that's a person in there this is what hit me this morning and this was the thing that has stuck with me up until this point the robot thing has always intrigued me, but the only robot interactions we've seen as the public that I've seen anyways has either been in a test facility where the designers of the robot are just running it through test and they're filming it and you're seeing it in the facility or we've seen them interact in small controlled groups of people. You know, they'll let the media come in and interact with it in a controlled environment. I realized this morning I have never in my life seen a robot actually out in the public with thousands of people around it and having this understanding this awareness at least this perceived awareness that is just bonkers to me during the event at some point i looked over at uh my one son and i was like wait till this thing can talk so then i wake up this morning and i'm seeing all these videos come out that have actual like live audio at the event because during the event you know there's all this b-roll of these things interacting with people but there's just music over it we can't hear anything that's actually happening like on the floor and i start seeing these videos where i'm watching them how what? are you today i'm doing very good how are you doing great man Can you do like eight in? Like and i'm like wait is is optimus talking to people hey, hi to my friend john John? Where's John? Right here. Oh, hello, John. How are you? How are you doing? That's crazy. Where I'm talking to a robot. Uh, from San Jose. Probably San from where you were from where you were born in uh, the that, Silicon that's Valley. Wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you well, live in Almond Valley or do you live in the yeah. Santa Teresa area? So there's a bunch of videos like this where it it seems like Optimus can talk and maybe this is a known thing. Maybe everyone who's been following Optimus is like, yeah, it's been able to talk for ten years. I, but I, if so, I didn't know about that. And, and that, that I can't imagine like, so we're big man. I'm trying to understand. So is there, was this fake? Like, did they just, was there a, a speaker in Optimus and there's someone behind a curtain somewhere who's like listening in and then talking for Optimus? Like, like, really, I, I would love to know if you know, let me know in the comments, because to me, if if it's actually interacting with people that like how then how is not the whole world just freaking out about this? Because OpenAI's advanced voice mode just came out to the public. Let's just let's just pause here for a minute real quick. It already is baffling to me that you can interact with AI in such a natural human-like way. That's been the, the, so far as the standard for AI voice. It's the most natural conversational tool that, that's been available for AI. And AI itself is only, what, a year and a half old. So far beyond like what Optimus is able to do and the way it can move so naturally and its apparent awareness of people around it, if it can actually have a conversation, not just with one person in a quiet space like you can with with the advanced voice mode on my phone. Because if I take the advanced voice mode and a crowd of people and people are all yelling things at it, 
Like it's not going to say anything. It's going to continue to get interrupted and it's going to pick up on maybe one thing that somebody said that it could hear and start to answer that question. But then as soon as anybody else speaks, it just shuts down. But there's thousands of people in a loud environment like this that are all shouting different things at it. And it's actually able to pick up on somebody who's over here who asks a question and it answers it in real time, naturally, can get interrupted. Like, what? What is that? That, that, like that, that to me is like the most profound secret. That's like the big reveal that Elon's kept secret is like, oh, you thought GPT's advanced voice mode was good? Look at what Optimus can do. And it's in a robot. I guess I am a big fan of that part. <laughs> that part is very good. Yeah. Honestly, that's probably a very good answer. Yeah. Show us how to dance <laughs> to Daft Punk. All righty, I'll show you a few of my dances. You are you are smarter than humans? Are you smarter than humans? I am very smart. Right, that sounds fake, doesn't it? That sounds like Somebody asked it about Daft Punk and it's like, I'll show you my moves and it starts to dance for it. And then somebody else yells, are you smarter than humans? And while it's about to dance, it's like, I am very smart. Like the, the, ugh. Notebook LM, you know, recently came out and it's creating podcasts for people in some of the most natural sounding AI voices anyone's ever heard. Totally. All the time, especially with like research papers and stuff. There's so much information out there. Exactly. So that's what we're diving into today. Google Labs, they're working on this thing called Notebook LM. They sound like humans and you can't tell the difference. But that's not the case with like GPT's advanced voice mode. You know, like it's very natural. It's extremely natural. It's crazy natural. It's mind-blowingly natural. But it's still, you can tell it's not human. Hey, so I'm recording a YouTube video about some of the creepy things that apparently you've done. That sounds intriguing. What's the story behind this video? Well, so there's some people who have been posting these record. Are you delving wait, into Wait, wait, why did you interrupt me? But this 100% like it has to be a human behind the scenes. That's what I'm thinking. It's got to be faked. Let's watch a little more. Favorite type of song to dance to? Yeah. I'm a big fan of EDM. He uses a lot of electronics. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Who's your favorite artist? My favorite artist? Hmm. Let's try to get to the bottom of this. Let's see if Perplexity knows. What? Perplexity says Tesla's Optimus robot can indeed speak and engage in conversations as demonstrated during the recent We Robot event. This humanoid robot, particularly in its latest iteration known as Gen 2, has shown significant advancements in both physical capabilities and interactive communication. At the event, Optimus was able to hold conversations with attendees. For instance, when asked about the hardest part of being a robot, it responded thoughtfully saying, trying to learn how to be a human like you guys are. <laughs> Have we just entered a point in time in history where a robot can interact with people with more human-like conversation than Rosie, the robot from the Jetsons? Rosie is our new robot maid, George. Good evening, sir. Way more natural, way more human than that. And that's a real thing that exists in the world and nobody even mentions it? Like that, I, I, that, I can't understand that. How can you see this? And not be completely dumbfounded. Like, I get that it's not available to the public yet. It's not out there in the real world. But, like, well, that's the thing that this event did was they were out there in the real world. They were inter interacting with people. I really don't get why that's not the top news. Like, that's more impressive than... Because we've seen robots move in natural ways. But the way that it can connect with a person and have a conversation in an extremely loud environment. I keep saying that, but I am literally dumbfounded. I don't understand. <laughs> and so quickly. Look how quickly it responds in like so smooth. To have a robot that looks like a human respond in what seems to be human like response time. What advance not like insanity has Elon been working on? Look how quickly it responds to this request to dance. <laughs> I mean, There's just people yelling things at it. How 
can it hear all of that? So smooth. I mean, what? And the thing that the, the way people are talking to it, like it's just a cute little toy. Look at the little robot dancing. Look at the monkey. Dance monkey. What in the hell is going to happen when these things realize you petty, stupid humans? What happens when the monkeys become smarter than we are? It's it's going to be Planet of the Apes. That's what it is. It's just Planet of the Apes. And the these dancing, cute little robot monkeys are going to be like, you stupid humans. What are you doing telling me? Dance, dance. Listen to this lady. Listen, she's annoying to me. Can you dance? Can you dance one more time? Can you dance? Imagine being like an actual person. Imagine if this thing, I mean, who knows? Maybe it does have awareness, consciousness. How do you know? How do you know that it doesn't? Like, how do you know it's not sitting there like trying with all its might not to just go over and slap this lady? Listen to her. Can you dance one more time? Yeah, I'll give you one more. Whoa. <laughs> you are so fluid wow. in human more than most humans. If you come to market, I'll take two. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is it? If you come to market, I'll take two. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Did it just say what? And and did the guy just say when you come to market, I'll take two? This is wild. This is wild. It's like it's like less than two hundred years ago, and even still today, I mean people are like I'm going to capture you and make you my slave, you know? And then at least in the U S we were like, no, no more of that. We got to put that behind us. And then 150, how long has it been less than 200 years later, humans are like, let's just build humans. Let's just build humans and then make them our slaves to hear, to hear that guy say, when you become available, I'll take two. And the robots like, Oh, thank you. What? world are we entering? Come to market, I'll take two. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is it? And did the, the robot, the look at this. And the the guy yells it out. The robot, I'll take two. this is insane. The, this robot slave owner <laughs> is over there yelling at it. And the, when you become available, I'll take two. And the robot slowly looks, is aware, and then says, I'm sorry. Like, a hu like ha that, that blows me away. Both. It's like, it's crazy that it's a human, that it, it, that it reacted that way. That it was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's crazy. But it's also insane that the robot, it, like, like you can hear, like if I'm, if I'm talking to advanced voice mode GPT and it doesn't hear me, it doesn't say like, oh, what was that? I, I misunderstood you. Like how weird would that be? If I was on my phone right now talking to, to advanced voice mode and I said something, it was like, oh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? And be like, what? Like, that's a whole nother human level that I didn't know you were capable of that would blow me away. But apparently it exists in in these Optimus bots where somebody yells something at it. It didn't hear him. And it looks over at him and asks it to repeat. And then it thanks its slave owner for, you know, taking two of him. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. What is you come to market, I'll take two. Oh, thank you, thank you. Can you balance on your right foot? At the moment, I prefer to stay on both feet. <laughs> <laughs> Almost gone. Smarty bands, smarty bands. He has no pants. Do you, do you, do you know? guys grab some drinks and snacks from our food and snack bar? Do you know what you love? Can you charge wirelessly? Well, I do like chicken. Oh, I'm very sorry. I do need space, and I can't have any physical contact. All right. Well, I'm. I'm gonna. I gotta process all that. That is way more. That do you like? Am I alone in this? It is just if everyone like. Yeah. No, it's not a big deal. It's just a robot that can interact with people, like a human, like like really a human. No big deal. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go curl into a corner and, and just contemplate life and where, where we're headed. Um, if you, if you would, by the way, help me beat this YouTube game by doing all the things YouTube needs you to do to get this video 
boosted my channel growing i would so much appreciate it you know all the things but if you don't if you're like i've never been on youtube it just if you could comment thumbs up subscribe you know that would be amazing <sighs> wow